Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to use Photoshop Elements to create some nice bokeh lighting. If you don't know what bokeh lighting is, let me go ahead and turn the visibility layer off of this. And as you can see, the dots go away. Let me go ahead and put that back. And as you can see, there's some bokeh lighting. Now this effect only works on photos that have a nice dark background. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to see it very well. I want to go ahead and thank Chris Willis over at Flickr for letting me use this image under the Creative Commons license. Let's go ahead and get started. First, what I'd like you to do is pick a couple colors right there in your foreground and background. Make them pretty light. I have green right there selected in my foreground and I have more of a pinkish purple in my background. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to go over to your brush tool. Go ahead and click on your brush tool and then pick one, pick a brush that's uh, let's say 19. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our brush on top of our picture so we can see the size of our brush. Now use the right bracket key. Make it about the size that I'm making it right there. We don't want it larger than her face, but we only want it maybe a few times larger than her eye. That makes some real nice bokeh lighting right there. The next thing that we're going to do in the options palette right there in the options bar is to change the mode to multiply. After we change it to multiply, we're going to set the opacity to about 29 or 30 percent. And then we're going to click on this little icon right here, this little brush icon. These are the options. What I want you to do is I want you to take the hue and jitter and I want you to slide that all the way over there. What that's going to do is it's going to randomize some of our effects. Then what I want you to do is I want you to slide over scatter. Once again, that's going to kind of randomize where these little dots are. I want you to take the spacing and I want you to put it all the way up to 150% approximately. And I want you to take the hardness of the brush down to about 80. Now if you want to save this brush, you can come over here and go to the drop down box right there. And then there's a double headed arrow right there. They don't really tell you a whole lot about that, but if you click on it, you can see all these things that you can do. And one of the things you can do is you can save the brush. So you can go ahead and hit save brush and then you can name it bokeh lighting if you want to. Now I've already got mine set. If you go down here at the very bottom, I've already got mine set to bokeh lighting right there. Now let's go ahead and turn off the visibility layer here and in your layers palette I want you to go hit the doll gear icon right there which I call the new layer icon. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to tap on the picture and what's going to happen is it's going to randomize some dots on your picture. Now sometimes the dots go on her face and you can always do the command or control Z but I usually click somewhere in the corner. Now as you can see that dot kind of went in front of her face so I'm going to do a control Z or a command Z and go ahead and do that. As you can see it's kind of randomizing some of these on top of her face and I'm not too happy with that but I'm going to go ahead and click it in the corner. We can also, if we don't like some of these dots, we can also erase them. So if I've got these nice dots going here but then I've got a couple random ones in here, I can always go over to the eraser tool because we're on a transparent layer. I can go ahead and use the right hand bracket to go ahead and increase the size and I can go ahead and just kind of take those dots out and what we're left with is with some nice bokeh lighting all the way over there. If you haven't done so already please subscribe to my videos, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, favorite them and pass my link on to your friends. Cheers! 